at any one time, BrightSource employs somewhere between 60 and 100 biologists, depending on the work that's happening. Mitigation practice here at Ivanpah starts with protecting the animals from machinery or vehicles. Uh, we've been doing clearance surveys. That includes uh, crews of biologists walking very slowly, diligently sort of combing through the desert, looking for desert tortoises uh, and other, other animals or plants of concern. Animals that have been removed from the developing sites, they're housed individually in natural desert landscape. We provide the animals with things that they need, like deep burrows. Here in the Mojave Desert, the burrow is critical for survival of the desert tortoise. Not only does it shelter them from the extreme heat of the summer, but it keeps them uh, away from the freezing winters that we can have. Natural tortoise burrow looks like this sort of half dome shape with a flat bottom. Uh, it fits the size of the tortoise quite well. The tortoise can just about perfectly pivot around inside of the burrow and there's hardly space for much more. I was concerned initially, and it turns out the tortoises took to them quite well and in many cases added on to them, dug into them even further. And it wasn't long before most tortoises were down in their man-made burrows and, and for the most part spent the entirety of the winter there. And they all came up this spring, uh, no worse for wear, and, and that was a good thing to see. The animals get a radio transmitter so we can keep track of it. And we monitor them very closely to make sure that we're not exposing them to unseen dangers. I think the general consensus uh, among the biologists, um, and, and I guess with me, is that I'm passionate and motivated to do my best. And I'd like to be a part of it because I love the desert. It's like a home to me. I'd rather not be on the sidelines looking in.